Hello my crazy subscribers, this is Joking Johnson Four here bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team and today we are going to be comparing two more linebackers from the Madden Ultimate Team game mode. Today we're going to be talking about the most feared addition of Terrell Suggs versus Justin Houston from the Kansas City Chiefs at 88 overall. Now one overall differential may mean different things but at the same time they could be equal to each other. Now. Before doing this video, I actually did check out both of them and they do have major differences. And one can actually be better than the other at passing coverage and the other one can be better at more, more better at stopping the runs. Even though they have the same skill, run stuff, they still have some kind of differential going on there. So um, before I start showing you guys the stats and so you guys can see the differences between these two and which one's better, um, I want to say this. I need your help. You know, I really need your help on this one because this is like a a major step up from a linebacker that I have and um, if I were to get the best run stuff defense you know that would be great and adding either one of these could lead to that and I want to ask you guys if you have any of these two linebackers tell me your experiences with the linebackers I would like to know have they cost you a fumble have they stopped a lot of runs behind the line of scrimmage have they intercepted the ball you know have they done anything that turned the tides of the game if they did, you know, tell me in the comment section. I would like to know. And if you don't have any of these, who would you prefer to get? Terrell Suggs or Justin Houston from the Kansas City Chiefs? So, your opinion counts. Moving on to the, st to the skills of a certain player, we're going to be starting off with Terrell Suggs. All right. Now, before we get, we get to, into showing the stats, I want to say this. He's pretty smart. He can actually read those runs. He does have a good amount of awareness, and that means he can actually stop the counter. So, that's, I can show you right here. He has 90 awareness, which is good. He's going to be stopping those counters, man. He's going to read him. Not as much, but he's going to be there. He actually is going to be in attention, which is good. Uh, he does have a good amount of speed. As you can see, he has 90 acceleration. So this guy's going to be like a torpedo launching out of there if he sees a run. Uh, another skill that's pretty much impressive would be the tackling. He has 93 tackling, which means this guy is not going to be easily you know, broken off if he catches you so that's good about Terrell Suggs he does have a good amount of jumping I, I, I thought he had he would have more since you know he played basketball last year and got injured for the whole season I mean he does have some hops I've seen that video where he, he ended up hurt and uh, you know why does he have more jump he plays basketball oh well you can say that a lot about a lot of players in the NFL anyways uh, moving on to the next skill power moves you know which is gonna be pretty much amazing to have 93 skill which means he's going to actually push back those linemen, those tight ends coming towards him, and it's going to disrupt those runs going towards the outside. So that's good. That's a big plus right there with the power moves, uh, the power moves department. Another skill that he has is the pursuit, which means he's, gonna, he's just going to go out there like a humming missile, you know, heat seeker. That's what this guy has, heat seeking, you know, vision. So that's good about the pursuit. The play recognition is under 90, but it's acceptable. Because the other guy, Justin Houston, has less than him. And I'll show you guys how much he has after this. Uh, we're almost done anyways. Injury, he does have a good amount of injury, good amount of stamina. Hit power is under 90, which is kind of wormy. So I might not start hit sticking with the linebackers anymore. Because these guys are starting to have over under 90 to hit power. Which is sad because, you know, Vontes, when I had Vontes perfect and Amon Brooks, these guys can hit the shit out of the running backs. It was just insane, man. I did cost a few fumbles here and there. You can watch my previous Ultimate Team videos, and um, you know these guys did force fumbles, which is amazing. But now they're under 90, and I'm like, all right, I guess I'm gonna play good now. Just simple tackling, um, and that's about it. So he does have a good amount of tackling. He is pretty smart with the pursuit and the play recognition. So this pretty much uh, is a strategic goal linebacker. You know, he's smart. But the thing that sucks about him, he doesn't have his own coverage. I did not, I forgot to mention that. He does not have coverage. He has 62 zone coverage, which is bad. Not even my uh, my, my linebacker that I currently have. Oh, no. Wrong one. Not even the previous linebacker that I previously had, uh, Ahmad Brooks, has that low of a zone coverage. As you can see, he has 75. That's the big difference right there. So he can actually cover. Ahmad Brooks, I got some few interceptions with him. Because he does have that good amount of zone coverage, at least acceptable amount. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of worrying right there. So that means Terrell Suggs does not have any kind of coverage going on, which means he is a sucky player against pass coverage, against passing attack, pretty much. But he's a hell of a run stopper. 
So and a smart one too. So that's the thing about Terrell Sucks. Now let's move to Justin Houston. Justin Houston does have coverage. Let's start off with that right away. He has 75 zone coverage, so it's kind of like a upgraded Ahmad Brooks already. It's starting to look like that. Now the speed of Justin Houston is quite amazing. You know, 92 acceleration. This guy's gonna launch like a torpedo. Um, but the problem is that the, his speed does go down, which means he's going to go into a certain limit. His strength is lower than Terrell Suggs. Another thing that we can notice, he's not that smart. That's the problem with Justin Houston. He's not smart. He can actually be tricked out with counters and halfback misdirections, which is going to suck. And especially with freaking options. So if you face anybody with options, this guy's not going to read him that good. It has to be 90 skill, but it's at 85. But the guy's still acceptable. Let me tell you why. Moving on to the next skill, tackling at 90, which is good. Jumping 77. Uh, if we go lower, power moves is an incredible rate, 93. Uh, 81 finesse moves, so that's good. You know, he's going to be actually, you know, going through those blocks like nothing. Uh, block shooting at 90, which is good. So he's going to actually, like, interrupt those runs towards the outside. He does have a good amount of run stopping skills. And especially with the pursuit, also you know, combined, he's just gonna be a good heat seeker, but also a disruptive linebacker, which is good. He's gonna be disrupting those blocks. You can't, you can't block him. Sometimes, you know, this guy's just gonna go through the line like nothing without being touched. That's the thing about Justin Houston. He is just penetrable. He's just gonna penetrate like nothing. That's a big plus for Justin Houston right there. Another thing he has, you know, the zone coverage, we already talked about it. He does have a good amount of stamina, and the hit power is at 90, which means he has the possibility to force fumbles, which is good. It's just a two-point differential, but those two points make a big difference. Seriously, I've seen the difference. I mean, I can have a guy at hit power 85 and a guy at hit power 90, and still, the one at 90 will make more force fumbles than the one at 85. 85 will be like a 1 out of 10, and... The one at 90 hit power will be like a like a two out of five. So pretty much, you know, you can pretty much trust this guy, Justin Houston, at tackling. So that's the thing about Justin Houston. He does have a good amount of tackling. He's penetrable. He's gonna just gonna just go through the lineman like without getting blocked, and that's good about him. He's a good run stopper. The problem is he's not smart, and um, he's not gonna be reading those counters or halfback misdirections or the options that good. That's the problem with Justin Houston. He's not smart. But he has good coverage at the same time. He has passing coverage. That's something that Terrell Suggs does not have. But I like Terrell Suggs at the same time because this guy is a smart guy. But he cannot cover the pass attack. So there, those are the big differences between these two guys. Justin Houston and Terrell Suggs. It's a big discussion. It is a big difference between these two. But I don't know who to get. <laughs> Seriously, do not know. I will make my decision later on tomorrow. And we'll see who I get. So, um, if you guys can comment in the comment section your opinions about these two, it will be great. So, that's it for now, guys. If you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe here, Mr. Joe King John 74, or subscribe to Madden All Stars. I'll be uploading some videos over there, too. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, guys, and subscribe for more.